This right here is a brand new Avanix Viper in 30 caliber. This fully self-contained PCP pistol is another first in the air gun industry, slinging a 30 caliber projectile at over 36 foot pounds. This PCP pistol will shoot more than two full magazines on a fill. So there's never been a PCP pistol in 30 caliber, let alone one that is semi-auto and extremely accurate. This right here was literally the second group I shot after taking this gun out of the box. 10 yards away and that was with open sights. So this gun shoots better than you or me. It's just going to come down to how good you are with your pistol. Now in the USA, we use firearms for self-defense. But there's a lot of countries and a lot of even places in the U.S. where you can't take firearms. For instance, California. There's no firearms, even with a concealed carry permit, in public places. So this would be great for that. But this is Vanix Viper. Two full magazines of 30 caliber. And they're also coming out with the Viper X in a couple months. And that's going to be an even more compact version of the Viper. If you want to grab one of these bad boys, just shoot on over to Patriots Air Guns or New England Air Gun. These are in stock and available now. There will be a link in the description. Mine came with the LDC, two magazines, and check this out. A double magazine. So this 30 caliber Viper is capable of holding 10 rounds at a time. And it will shoot all 10 rounds in the exact same spot. This is a totally amazing PCP pistol, I'm telling you. Here's a look at what came with mine. There's a 1-8 quick disconnect foster fitting built right into the gun. So no fill probe required. But they do give you this fitting. I got two single 5 round magazines and one 10 round double mag. And then here's an up close look at that beauty. The fit and finish on the Vanix is always top notch. They've always had some of the most stylish designs, and the Viper's no exception. It's got an operating pressure between 250 bar and 100 bar. I got about 13 shots out of it, but there's a clearly marked green zone. If you fill it to 250, you'll get two solid mags within the green zone. As well, obviously, this is a PCP pistol, so it's super easy to fill, even with a hand pump. It's got some awesome iron sights that work even when you have your LDC on there. So that's awesome. Those are removable. So you can put a pistol scope or optic on the Viper. It has a full length Picatinny rail built in on top. Just so you know, it not only utilizes the air tank, but the inside of the shroud also acts as an air tank. So definitely never try to unscrew that, especially when it's under pressure. This does have a hammer spring tension adjuster. Obviously it's tuned to perfection from the Avanix factory. Not only for accuracy, but shot count. However, if you want to turn it way up, you definitely can. Incidentally though, the US Army said in World War II that 36 foot pounds of energy in a round is considered lethal to humans. That being said, let's get this party started. I did go ahead and clean the Viper with Ballastol and a pull through cleaning system. Everything came out on the first swipe. Then I set up on a nice sunny day at 10 yards away Grab two magazines and my 44.75 grain JSB pellets. I mean, right here, I actually wasted a shot with no ammo because I never counted how many rounds my magazine held. And then here's the official 10 yard group with open sights, which is only the second group that I ever shot out of this gun. Holy hell. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. All right. So that's 10 yard group right there. Open sights. 30 caliber. OMG. So this powerful 30 caliber is just as accurate as the 22 and the 25. Now let's do some power tests on some real targets.
All right, you guys, I'm about to scope this up, stretch it out to 20 yards, and even put a laser on it and annihilate some eggs. But first, I want to show you just a couple more things about the operation of the Avanix Viper. So the only safe air gun is a decocked air gun, as per Matt Dubber. So to decock the Viper, first you need to remove the magazine. You're going to switch the safety lever to fire, then pull the slide back. And then while holding the slide, depress the trigger and let the slide down gently. And now it will be decocked. It's only the best way to store this. So concerning the magazine, the side with the writing is actually the back of the magazine. If you look around at the front, you'll see a detent. And then on the bottom, there's a little piece sticking out along the front. And then if you look at the receiver, there's a little groove cut out of the front of the mag well. So with your mag facing forward, you slide it right into that groove. And then just push it flush and there's a detent that'll grab it right in the middle in the case of the double magazine you just slide it over to be flush with the other side and pop off another five rounds in the case of this 30 caliber to load the clip you take your favorite 30 caliber pellet or slug go to the back of the magazine with the opening drop your pellet in face first then spin it to the next one if you look inside there's a little piece and you want to spin past that before you put your pellet in for the best accuracy so you don't scratch the side of your pellet. Meow, here's what happened when I put a scope on my Viper and stretched it out to a very special. 19 yards away. Going for 20. Here's a 30 caliber that I just nailed that steel target crow in the head with. He's fine though. The ones who aren't doing too hot are those cans that we shot. So this is just a demonstration of the power of a 30 caliber. It's a devastating round. Now I think the best way to shoot the Viper, at least for me, is with a laser. So I set back up at 10 yards, threw a little gamma laser on there. This right here was a one shot sight in. Then I shot a quick group. I think that may be the most accurate way to shoot this bad boy. Check this out. Well, we got our dime-sized group with the laser. And yeah, basically these eggs had no chance. Alright everybody, that's it for me on this one. I want to thank Avanix for working with me all these years. I really appreciate all the support that they've given Airgun Channel. As well as all the viewers. I appreciate all you guys too. And gals. Alright everybody, till next week. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.